Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I just want to make a disclaimer. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but it's probably not going to be positive. At least some of it, and I don't want to trigger anybody. Um, or discourage anybody, you know, from their process. This is just my process I'm sharing. And, you know, every day is not a happy day. <laughs> and um, if it were, we wouldn't be human. But I'm sharing my whole process. Um, I almost wasn't going to film because it was very foggy, but it, as soon as I got on the highway, it was like I'm in another country. It's not foggy. How weird. Anyway, um, so I just want to talk about how I really just <laughs> have been feeling like wanting to give up on my SP and um, some of like manifesting how... I don't understand why it doesn't work <laughs> sometimes. Like for money, here, I'll start out with money before I get into SP. So money, you know, if you've been watching my channel at least a few months, you know that I, and or even last year, for my boy's birthday, um, I manifested money um, to come so that I can celebrate, they can have a great birthday, right? And I got like a thousand bucks for that within a couple weeks. I didn't even have time to be negative, and I wasn't. And if I was, it was very fleeting, right? Uh, then this past Christmas, I wanted to manifest $500. It took like a week. So easy. So I was like, that was so damn easy. Let me do it. Let me try again. I did it again in another week. Like, how stupid, really? Okay, um, and then I tried it again this uh, last month. No, not last month, January. We're already in March. Um, in January, and it didn't happen. So I started to think negative, right? And then I'm like, well, it defeats the whole purpose of needing it if it didn't come when I needed it. So why didn't it come? I, I did the same exact way of thinking. The only difference is after some, like, triple the time, three, four weeks passed, not a sign. And then I tried again this month, and I'm still waiting again not waiting. I hate to say that because then everybody who's like in the manifesting cult, oh, it's because you're waiting. Well, I was waiting before, just not like heavily waiting. I was expecting, I guess. I guess that's a better word to use for cult people. I don't, if you guys come in my comments, which I've never seen, I think you guys know better. <laughs> but anyway, well, I don't think cult like people would watch my channel, honestly, because they are a cult. Uh, they always have an answer for everything, and it's always, you're doing it wrong, or it's because you did this, or you did that wrong. Um, it's never, um, why didn't it work, you know, and they have a good ex or it's because you're asking. No, we're asking, I'm talking now, because it didn't work, and it worked before many times with not even a quarter of, not even, I call it effort, not even effort, really, um, so why didn't it happen this time? And, and then like my bosses, if you guys have been following me for at least a year now, you know that I got rid of two bosses um, who were very toxic. And then I tried to get rid of a third one. And I even got my coworkers help. We still couldn't get rid of her. So you know what I did? I made her like me. Remember that? I made her like me and she loves me now. And so everything's good. It worked out fine. But why didn't, I mean, I tried like three times to get rid of her. She would not go. And the only time I ever start to think negative is when I've been at it for quite some time. And even then, one time you think negative, it, it doesn't harm your, for me, it's not harm my manifestation when I've thought negatively, you know, a time or two. <clears throat> and even when I first manifest my SP, I was, I didn't know how to stop spiraling. I didn't um, know to control my emotions very much, my mental diet. I didn't know shit. I just did those stupid affirmations. And um, I had success twice. Okay, we got on the same page. But we didn't get past the same page for very long because I, I my self-concept, everything, I didn't work on anything yet. So I couldn't sustain it because I didn't have the tools to sustain it. That's another thing. Oh, you don't need to heal. You don't need this. You don't need that. You can just say you're perfect as is. Bullshit. If you can't control your fucking self, 
you don't know how to stop spiraling. You don't know how to mental diet. You're always desperate. You don't put yourself first. Yeah, that's not going to magically appear. Like when I first started this, I thought, you know, manifesting is some kind of like magic, right? Like not magic as in like black magic, but magic as in there's something mysterious about it where it works and you don't know how and it overcomes a lot of obstacles right or it goes through obstacles without needing to work on them or whatever and I'm just learning that that's not always true and you can't always get what you want and I don't know why look at me I've been on this for four years for my SP and I think the only reason why I keep going at this point is I don't even know why. I honestly don't know why. I'm really fed up. And um, I've done everything. I've been delusional. Like when something good happens, that's even a little bit good. I gave it like the most positive meaning to the point of being delusional. And then like I look back and I'm like, well, maybe he was just doing... Then I have like where I get rational now, like now, and I hate when you get rational because that doesn't mix with manifesting. I know that, but I've been at this so long. Nobody could tell me nothing. I don't think anybody's been through as many hurdles and learning curves as, as I've been through, except the people who manifested their SPs in, that took years, like Corey T and Missy Renee, um, everybody else had superficial relationships or relationships they barely met them or it seems like they just got in a fight I mean especially with newer relationships where people haven't been through the whole ringer yet do you know what I mean so they don't give up as easily and plus get this if you go and research how minus all the manifesting X is coming back the statistics show anywhere from 30 to 70 percent i mean it's a wide range but let's go in the middle 50 percent so 50 percent of x's come back anyway how is that manifesting magic and it seems like once you start manifesting the percentage goes down even because how rare is a success story like look at all the comments and all these manifesting videos you'll barely see one good comment if you see any so that tells me that just shows if you're going by that kind of anecdotal evidence which anecdotal evidence is very true I think because I mean that's what I've seen is that even as a nurse what I've observed seems to be way more true than science because science you can push data in all these different ways projected statistics and bullshit now that they have it's all a lie plus one day you know this causes cancer the next day this study shows it, it um, takes cancer away so you can't fuck that anyway anecdotal evidence I think there's more weight to that when you have experience and you observe something over and over and over anyway just look at the comment sections look at everybody in this community how rare is it to have success it even thinks I mean even thinks it makes me think good lord it even makes me think that's what I meant to say that you focusing so hard and, and trying, me too, trying to, man, oh God, manifest an SP seems to push it away even, make it less likely to happen. Because why would, um? so like, I don't understand, like even when they do have successes, I don't think that's the norm. There's just way too much quote unquote work, as they say, oh, you don't need work, all those stupid channels that haven't been through everything and they try to say they have and they haven't. I could tell. Plus, um, I don't know if I've told, I think I've told you guys, I'm psychic, very intuitive. I could tell when people are lying. Um, I've been very good at that. And um, except when it comes to something like my own tarot cards, I can't read my own tarot cards. I have to get the booklet out because my emotions are too heavily involved. It's so like when it came to my SP, like in certain situations, anyway, for other people, I could tell when the motherfucker's lying. I could, I already know their motives. I already know what they're thinking. Um, it's like, I know everything about them and it's disturbing to live that way sometimes. Um, but anyway, I could tell these son of a bitches on these the channels, these coaches, a lot of them exaggerate or outright lie. 
Um, and a lot of it's just from bullshit, petty experience. Like, oh, I manifested a parking spot or some coffee or whatever. You know, I could do that too. Look, I, I manifested my name. You see my community post yesterday. I was just playing around. It wasn't even like meaning to do it. But I was like, ooh, wouldn't it be nice if those people left and I had that beautiful view again of the mountains where, you know, for my bedroom. I remember the other neighbor I got rid of. That's horrible. I mean, I think it was his time. I definitely didn't do that on purpose. I think it was his time. But anyway, let's be, that's a whole nother video that I've already made and whatever. Um, but I manifested that within like a week, one neighbor left. And then I was thinking like, well, that's not quite the view. And just, just joking around. I wasn't even being serious. Just, <clears throat> oh my God, my throat's so dry. <clears throat> just slightly serious. Just playing around with manifesting. Not really thinking what happened. And then yesterday, the other neighbor left. And now I have the view. What the fuck? And that's happened so many times where I've had stuff happen so easily and effortlessly. And it does seem to be when I'm less attached and I care less. But not always. Not always. Um... I even play around parking spots at the store. Um, when I do focus and say I'll get one ahead of time, I'll almost always get one, but not always. And that's the thing, the not always. It's not, this like manifesting process is not tried and true. You can't, like I've said it before, even for the same manifestation, for the same person, it's not gonna always happen the same. Except the $500 this past Christmas like I did them both the same and they both happened within a week and that was just crazy and uh, one of the sources of my $500 came from my very Ebenezer Scrooge brother like what that made no sense that's how I know that was manifesting um and anyway the other came from a lottery and I don't know and since I haven't manifested the extra money like I've been doing since I separated from my husband, since I, I manifested that separation. Um, and because I couldn't get rid of him, I couldn't take, take the abuse and the pain, the cheating that he was doing. I couldn't get him to get out of the house. I kept saying, God, please, I can't take it anymore. It was just affecting my everyday, day-to-day -day life. I was so stressed out every day. And um, so then I, I started, I remember the day before that. This is what I mean about opposites, too. The day before that, I went head-on again into hardcore affirmations. Hardcore. I did everything by the book, and I was, like, positive. And then that's when that fight happened out of nowhere the next day. And I've had that happen a few times where you go at it hardcore whether it's short term or long term, and then the opposite, like a boomerang. Let's I tell you, like the boomerang, boomerang effect. It's weird. I've noticed that happens sometimes, not every time. I just notice with manifesting, there's nothing that's you can rely on. It's just like the only thing reliable is that it's not reliable or or predictable, I guess. The only thing predictable about it is that it's not predictable. Um, I don't know. It's just, it drives me insane and I just want to give up on my SP. Um, it's like, I've, oh my God, I know I deserve way better than this version that he's at right now. I know that. I wouldn't want that one for that. Look, why am I blah, 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 talking like that? Um, my throat is just so dry and it's very moist out here so I don't get that anyway um, what was I saying now oh I don't know what I was saying now great um, I just want to give up with my SP to say fuck it and you know I've gone through it already where the plan B um, you know, thinking, well, what if I didn't get it? You know, I'd be fine. I'd be sad, but I'd be fine. And, um, what I've noticed is 
since I've given up, not completely 100%, but like 90%, I saw like a hope in the background, but I'm not doing anything to get him right now. And it shows because he's not moving or doing anything either, unlike before. But like, even when I got movement before, it's superficial to me because like, what do you do coming to fix something happily for me or jumping at the chance? He's not moving towards me though. Do you know what I mean? And I always look at that like a huge movement, like, oh my God, instead of seeing it for what it is, it's, he's being nice. I don't know. I'm giving it more meaning than it, 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 it is because as they tell you to do, you know, give everything good meaning, be delusional as fuck. And all I've noticed is that it's now that I'm kind of accepting where I'm at, I mean, I've accepted it in levels, it seems, or in stages. Because now I'm having like all this delayed grief coming up. Because I haven't grieved and I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I haven't grieved the end of my marriage as it was, whether a new one is coming in a new version with him. How is that going to happen? And where's the manifesting in it? If he's not a new version magically, or I'm not seeing a process. He still gets angry like he did before. Granted, it's less, but that's because I put boundaries. I block it when he gets crazy and angry and, and verbally abusive in messages. And I still haven't blocked on the phone. I only leave Messenger open because he didn't curse me out there. If he were to do anything there, I'd act stupid, I would block him there too. He knows better. It's nothing magical or manifesty happening. It just seems normal logical where's the magic in manifesting that's supposed to be happening and that's why I'm like giving up kind of like what I mean I still have the intention if he's gonna change and, and you know I'll leave that back door open but there's gonna be a point where that back door won't even be open because I know myself And then what's the point of manifesting if I don't even want it? I won't even get it because I won't want it. So how does that make sense? Because that's the path I'm heading down. I did this with my first marriage and my um, ex-fiance. There was a certain point of no going back. And then that is when they seem to come rushing in. But it's too late. Okay, it's too late. And I have a feeling that this is what's going to happen with him. But it'll be too late. Because I know myself. And I know it has been too long. I'll have been too hurt. And granted I forgive him. But I'm also building up more resentment again. Um, and I hate to live logically. But it's logical. And manifesting is illogical. I, I just don't know where I'm at. And it just... I'm so sick of seeing these fucking manifesting channels with their cult-like videos. And all of it's because of money. They won't tell the fucking truth. Or they don't let anybody doubt because that goes against their money-making scheme. And I could do the same fucking thing, but I have fucking ethics and morals, unlike most people out there. Not say every channel, but there's so many that have money first. All right, money is important. Sure, you should be compensated, definitely. But when that's your main driver, that's not cool. And that's what 90% of the channels are doing. And I'm disgusted by that. And I'm sick of the cult-like behavior and their answers. Well, you're asking, so that's why. No, we're asking because we've done it so damn long. We've had success before with the same process and nothing's happening now. Okay, and what are we supposed to wait, years? And where's the magic in that? Where is the manifesting magic in that? Because manifesting is woo-woo, and it teaches you that it's some kind of magical thing that will happen. Right? At least a little bit, right? Shit, and that's not what's happening. And I'm almost here at work. And, um, end rant. I mean, I have a lot more to say, but I'm already at work, and I got started late because the fog... But I mean, that's where I'm at. I, I don't know what to do. 
I'm, I've essentially given up. I'm not doing anything. I'm not watching these disgusting videos. 90% of the videos are garbage. Same shit on repeat over and over. Um, anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I have to go and I'll end up in another freaking soapbox and I won't be able to finish it and that won't be good. So I'm going to go and, um, I don't know you guys do with what you will with that. I know you guys are frustrated too. Sometimes. All right. We all get frustrated. We're all human. Doesn't mean we can't express it. It's just a problem. We do that every fucking day. Right. Um, and I'm just showing you my process. It's human. It's real. I'm not trying to dissuade you. Please don't think that. But I'm sure you guys can relate. Anyway, I better go. I gotta go. You guys have a great weekend. Um, I'll keep you posted. Bye.